Alright, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. So I want to find the value of x. Oops, sorry. I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now from here, because there are 4, 4 to the power of x is on my left hand side, I'm simply going to factor out 4 to the power of x. So I have 4 to the power of x times, now 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x is 1, so I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. Now, if I simplify it in the parentheses, I get 4 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1. Now 4 here, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 4 to the power of x plus 1. And this is all equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form, or sorry, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1, meaning I can replace 1 here with 4 to the power of 0. So now I have 4 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 4 to the power of 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a simple equation to solve. All I have to do is subtract 1 on both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 1. Now, I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So I again start with 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. And now I'm going to factor out 4 to the power of x again. So I get 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now I have 4 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1. And now this time, instead of multiplying these two, I'm actually going to divide both sides by 4. So then these two cancel out. And now I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 4. Now 1 over 4, that's the same thing as 4 to the power of negative 1. And if I have something in form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to negative 1. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 0. So I want to find the value of x in this problem. So for my solution here, First start with 2 to the power of x is equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 0. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, then I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x, and I can actually move x to the front. So it's going to equal x times log 2, which is equal to log 0. Now, I obviously want to isolate x here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. So then these two cancel out. And now I have x is equal to log 0 over log 2. Now log 0. This is actually undefined. And log 2, this is 
0 0.301. Now, if something's undefined and it's divided by a number, then the result will also be undefined as well because you can't divide an undefined value with another number, meaning the value of x is undefined. And also, if you look here, you can't actually take the power of a number and make it equal to zero, because no matter what power you take, a number cannot equal zero. So undefined is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 3 minus 27 is equal to zero. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to first rewrite 27 here as 3 to the power of 3. So now I have x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x and b is equal to 3. So now I have x minus 3 times x squared plus 2 times x times 3 plus 3 squared. Now this is equal to x minus 3 times x squared plus 2 times 3 is 6. So I have 6x plus 3 squared is 9. And remember, this is all equal to 0. Now, this is going to give me two equations. I have x minus 3 is equal to 0. And I also have x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. So for x minus 3 equals 0, all I have to do is add 3 on both sides. And I get x is equal to 3. So this is a simple equation. Now, for x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0, I actually have to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to 9. So now I have x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 9, all over 2a. Now to simplify, I have negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times 9 is 36, all over 2. And now this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus 36 minus 36 is 0, and the square root of 0 is 0, all over 2. And if I simplify this, I get negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. So my two solutions are 3 and negative 3.